All right, so what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can create an increment button in JavaScript. And let me show you exactly what we'll be making. So as you can see here, we have an empty white page with a button that will fade to green when we hover over it. And when we click on it, it will increment that number by one each time we click on the button. So it's a very simple program that we're gonna create in JavaScript and I will be using the Atom text editor to do this. So you're more than welcome to go to atom.io to download it, it is free and it's made by GitHub. So it is reliable and looks great. But with that being said, let's go to the text editor where we can get started by creating a new untitled file. And we're just gonna save this file as an HTML file and we're gonna call it increment.html. And you should save this in a folder that will contain all the documents for your site. Mine is called increment underscore tutorial. And the first thing we're gonna do inside here is type in HTML. And if we click on enter, it will provide all of this uh, code for us. So it will just so it will just simplify creating the necessary boilerplate code to create a project. And the first thing we want to do is provide a title and we're gonna call it increment. Then right below, we're gonna create a divider and the class name is going to be called my divider. And we just want to move the body inside this divider. Then inside the body, we're gonna go ahead and type in header one, which will mean it's a major header and give it an ID of increment text. And we're gonna set the text to zero initially. Then right below, we're just gonna create a button. So we can start by typing button and we'll give it a class of button and an on click method, which is going to be called increment button. And then we should give this button a name. So we're just gonna call it increments and we need to provide a closing tag and that will take care of creating the header and the button. And that's all we have to do for the UI. Then we have to go ahead and create another file. And this one is going to be for the JavaScript. So we'll just go and type in a new file name, which is going to be called increment number dot JavaScript. And as you can see by adding the dot JS extension, you'll have the program change its grammar to JavaScript automatically. So that is great. And now we can start coding in JavaScript. So the only thing we have to do inside here is create a function, which is called increment button and put some code inside here. And the first thing we want to do is create a var called element, and it's gonna be something that takes our document and it's gonna get our element by ID. And the ID of the element we will refer to is called increment text. So if we go back to the HTML file, you'll see that our header one has an ID of increment text, and that is the text we want to refer to. Then we need to get the value from the text. So we'll type in variable value, and that's going to equal the element dot in our HTML. And also I absolutely forgot because we're now in JavaScript, we have to add the semicolons at the end, but uh, let's continue. Next, let's increment the value by one. So all we have to do is type plus plus value. And finally, let's add a log that will help us understand what's going on in case we want to find our errors. And we're just going to log the value we created up here. And right below that, we can type in document get elements by ID. And we are going to refer to our increment text as we did earlier, dot in HTML. And we are going to assign the value to it. And that will just increment the text each time we click on the button. And let's not forget to add the semicolons, which I keep on forgetting. And then after we are done creating this, we actually have to go back to our HTML file and we have to make sure to include this script into the HTML folder or else it will not work. So we have to type in script. And as you can see, it will say type text JavaScript and Let's just add the source, which is going to be our increment number dot JavaScript file. And with that being done, let's just remember to save. And then let's go ahead and open this increment.html file by right clicking on it and clicking on open browser. So this will just load it into the browser where we can test it out. And if you click on the increment button, it will increment the number by one. But of course this looks a bit ugly. And in the previous example, I showed you that we would add a very nice fading button along with the text that seems to be all perfectly centered. And we're gonna do that just now. So we actually have to go ahead and create a .css file. And to do this, we'll go back to our Atom editor and create a new file. And this one, we're just gonna call it increment style.css. And just so we don't forget later, we're gonna go back to our HTML and we are going to include this CSS file in the header. So all we have to type is link, and then we have to change this part right here to the new destination we've just created, which will be called increment style 
CSS, and then remember to save and this will be done. Then we can go back inside our CSS file and we can start adding some attributes to our buttons and to the text. So the first one we want to do is add one to the button class. So we're just going to type in button and inside we're going to add a transition duration, which is going to equal 0.4 seconds. Then under that, we will give it a background color of white and a color of black. Then we should also give it a border, which is going to be two pixels and it's going to be solid. And we're also going to give it the color that makes it green, which is going to be 4CAF50. And this is just the hex for a green color. And you can put whatever color you want in there. I'm just going to use the one I had from before, which was green. Then we need to go ahead and create one for the button hover. So every time we hover over the button. So we're going to give it a background color of the same one that we have up here. So we'll just copy and paste that in. And we want to give it also a color of white. And actually we can go back up to our button and we have to add a few more attributes. So the next one is going to be the padding, which we're going to start with 16 pixels and then 32 pixels. Then we will set the text align to the center and we will set the display to inline block. We'll give it a font size of 16 pixels and we'll give it a margin of four pixels by two pixels. Then we're going to define the cursor as a pointer. And finally, let's give it a border radius to give it a nice curve. And it's going to be of four pixels. Then finally, we just have to go down and reference my divider class. And inside here, we just have to set the text align to center. So the entire increment counter will be centered on the web page. Now we can go ahead and save that. And now when we go to our increment.html and right click on it, we can open it up in the browser and you'll see that everything works just as my previous example. And when you click on it, it will increment the number by one each time. And just in case you don't know how to check the logs, all you have to do is right click and click on inspect elements and you will be taken to this whole page down here. I'm using Firefox, but it should look similar on Google and on Internet Explorer or whatever you use. And you'll see that we have a console and everything we printed the console will be displayed down here. And in case you have any error messages, you can always go down here and check what went wrong. But uh, with that being said, I hope this tutorial helped and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.